Hello my crafty friends welcome to our channel I am Anu designer with just my craft and today I'm back with another craft tutorial but before we move forward please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon to never miss a video from us Today I'm here to show some easy and quick Diwali cards also some useful tips on how to use dress my craft transformi sheets on various papers and card stocks so let's get started First let's have a look at the transfers we are going to use today. I have here the Diwali lights containing some diyas, borders, lanterns etc. Elephants and motifs containing some borders and hangings. Ethnic elephants containing some elephants and borders. ethnic motifs containing beautiful floral and motif designs indian motifs containing beautiful peacocks gold motifs lanterns etc and lastly lotus and diyas containing lotus diyas and some round patterns So let's get creating with these. To start with, here I have a colored cardstock of about 300 GSM. Yes, you need thicker cardstocks for transformi. I have scored it at every 1/8 inches to create an embossed background. Now I'm taking this border transformi from this pack and I am going to transfer this on a white piece of cardstock. This is about 250 GSM. You can use anything between 230 to 300 GSM cut stocks. Now simply peel the transparent film on top and adhere it to the cut stock. To apply water, I am going to use these three tools: a brush, a sponge, and a cotton bud. We'll use a tool depend upon the size of area. Here the area is big, so let's go with the brush. Do not load it with excess water. Use as much as needed. Peel it off now for extra protection and to make sure it's somewhat scratch proof you can varnish it once using cadence acrylic varnish it is completely optional Layering this on a piece of gold metallic cardstock. adding a scallop circle and circle on top and a happy diwali die cut Arrange everything as shown and it's done.
For the next one, I am taking a 4 by 4 piece of silver glitter cutstock and these large diyas from Diwali Lights transfer me. Arrange the diyas in a circle and stick them as shown. Apply water using sponge, peel it off and let it dry. After that I am taking a 1.5 inch scallop circle and happy Diwali die cuts that I am going to add in the center. Now add it to a note card and it's done. For the next one I am taking a piece of gold metallic cut stock and these beautiful blue lanterns from Indian Motifs transfer me. Remove the film and adhere them on paper. Wet it and then peel off. Take Happy Diwali die cuts, add it to the bottom left Finally, add this to a note card and it's done. For the next one, I am taking a piece of off-white cast stock and this beautiful motif from Indian Motif Transfer Me. Let's add this first. Gold print looks so pretty on this cutstock. Now I have this cute Ganesha that I'm gonna add here and happy Diwali die cuts. Adhere everything and add it to a note card.
Next, I am taking another off-white cardstock, embossing it diagonally. Taking out these lanterns from Indian Motifs Transfer Me, I am going to transfer small ones on white cardstock first and cut them out. Add the bigger ones directly on the base. I'm gonna add small ones with foam tape to add additional dimension, then add the sentiment die cuts, finally add it to a note card. Moving on for the next one, I am taking a yellow cardstock and I cut out this pattern from Ethnic Motifs Transformi, covering the entire base with it. Add water and peel off. Because it's a full background, I decided to varnish it once.
let it dry and meanwhile take a one and a half inch wide strip of paper punch it with round tack punch cut at three and a half inches and again punch it make a similar one about one eight inches bigger and adhere them together Add the die cuts on top. Now add this in the center. To hide the holes, you can add pearls. For the next one, taking a piece of white cardstock, embossing on it as shown. Taking this design from Lotus and Dia's transfer me, adhere it and chop off the extra. Apply water, let it soak and then peel off. In the center, adding the scallop circle with sentiment on it. Moving on for the next one, I am taking a watercolor cardstock and these beautiful lotus stars for me. I am going to create a watercolor background, giving a very light wash of yellow color. Let it dry. Now let's do transfer me. Aren't these look pretty? Painting the stem with green color.
and finally add a sentiment For the last card of the day I took nesting circle dies from dress my craft and die cut a ring and a base along with acetate taking this big elephant from ethnic elephants transformi and transferring it on acetate Do not slide on acetate always peel it off Adding the die cuts on base and then the acetate facing back side up Now add the ring and it's done. So this was all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, do give it a thumbs up, leave some love in the comments and share this video with your friends. Also, all the supplies I've used in this video are linked in the description box below. You can check there. So now I'll take a leave and I'll be back again with another craft tutorial. Until then, see you and happy crafting.